There's rarely a time that I'm super excited for a package to arrive where I'm basically checking the tracker every single day, checking the order status before it even gets shipped out and waiting for it to come in. And something that I've been having that experience with finally showed up and it's my Steam Deck. So I got the 512 gig model. Let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed, take a look at what comes with the 512 gig model. And then we will look into how it performs, how I like it. I'm gonna be using it for a couple of weeks before finishing this video. Um, so we will, you know, fast forward into the future at some point after the unboxing. So this is what we're welcomed with. Once we open the box, we have a quick attention. So plug in and power on and kind of gives you just a general layout of Steam. It kind of seems pointless. Oh, this button is to open up Steam. This button is to open up settings and your SD card location. So we've got our power adapter here. It's nice that a lot of this is cardboard. Not a fan that this is wrapped in plastic, but go ahead and get that opened. And we've got a, an attached cable adapter. Um, five volts at three amps, nine volts at three amps, 15 volts at three amps or 20 volts at 2.2 amps. So, I mean, not bad. Uh, USB-C, obviously. Cable seems relatively long. Uh, let's go ahead and get this thing unraveled. So yeah, I mean the cable the cable's relatively long enough. Um, I think it'll be good for most cases. And oh, it's just a health and safety manual uh, in here. So now. The prized possession, the actual deck itself. There's nothing else in the box, so we'll go ahead and stash that over there. So we've got the deck here in a plastic bag, but all right. So we've got your your games are going places. I believe that this wrapping is different for the 512 than it is for the other models, as well as having the tabs on the, the case. The case is a slightly improved case over the regular case. Um, what else we got? We got some serial number information, which I'll have to blur out. Uh, 512 gig, you can rip this off or you could just slide it off. And requires a Wi-Fi connection to the internet and a free Steam account to play games. So I know this is something that they're improving uh, with whole offline use. Um, so, I mean, other than that, there's not much here, so let's just slide this thing off. Oh, contents, the game machine, and the console, or in the case. So, now that we've got that, oh, we got a little tag thing here, hold on. So, I think that's kind of cute. Um, I know people have been using these for, uh... Or keychains, so I mean that's kind of cool. If you really care about having valve on everything, and then if we go ahead and open this thing up, so there is the improved case and the 512 gig model with the etched glass. Um, this is a lot bigger in my hands than I thought it was going to be. I have really big hands, but even then, this still seems pretty big. Um, we'll go ahead and put that off to the side for one quick sec. So we get a little cloth and it's basically it for the case. We get this little sleeve here for a battery pack or you can put your charger in there if you want. Um, you have this big crevice underneath, which I actually 3D printed something for and I'll show you that afterwards. Um, so I mean, that's it for the case. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the deck itself. So again, I have the etched glass because it's the 512 gig model. We have the touch pads. The thumbsticks feel pretty good. The buttons feel 
decent. The D-pad feels a little mushy. I've gotten very used to having my D-pad on my Xbox uh, Elite Series 2 controller, which feels really good. Got our Steam button, we got our menu button. We got a Windows button and another menu style button. I'll take a look at what that does. At the top here, we have the volume buttons, we have the power, we have the USB-C input, we have a headphone, we have the bumpers and the triggers. Then if we move on to the back here, we have two more triggers on each side. We have the venting hole for the fan. And on the bottom, we have the SD card slot, and that's basically it. So, I mean, it's a very pretty looking device. I think it looks great. It is, like I said, way larger than I thought it was going to be. I'm looking at my face right now, and I can get my whole head, which is a pretty big head. I can get the whole head on there, um, on the reflection. So that's my that's my gauge for a big screen. And we're going to go ahead and get this thing booted up. We've got enough battery to get through this. So we're gonna go ahead and go continue. Guess it's installing an update here. So noticeably so far, the fans aren't too bad. Um, you know, the fans spin up quite a bit on boot and they haven't been miserable, um, which is nice. I wonder how long it's going to take for people to start making aftermarket thumbsticks with different colors. I know there are you can already buy aftermarket thumbsticks that are better technology than the ones that are in here, but quick tour of the device. This is the Steam button. Press it to access your library store and settings and more. Press and hold to view shortcuts. This is the quick access button. You can quickly access your notifications, friends, list, quick settings, and more. Power button. Volume buttons, yep. Yeah. And the SD card slot. Have fun. All right. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna play around with this thing for the next week or so. I'm actually commuting the next couple days uh, into the city for some courses. So I think that's gonna be a really good time for me to kind of get used to this and use it as a commuter. And just kind of gonna see how it works, how the interface is, how the buttons feel, how the trackpads feel, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about all of that experience together. So as I've mentioned, I've had this for a few weeks and I've given it to a few friends to hold on to. And the first thing almost everyone mentions is that it's way lighter than they expected considering its size. So if we take it here, I have a box on here because I have to lift the Steam Deck off or else the edges would touch on the table. So I have the box just to lift it. It's still teared at zero. So that's great. And we go ahead and weigh this thing and it's about 674 grams, right? So if you compare that to other handhelds like my Switch, 415 grams, right? So when you compare the two, you'd think that it would, might be about double the, the weight because it is much larger in terms of its uh, width and height, but also its thickness is quite a bit as much as well, right? You have a full fan in here, you have a lot more equipment inside of the Steam Deck. And again, everybody mentions how the weight is a surprise. So another thing to, that we can weigh here, I'm going to zero my scale here, is my Xbox Elite controller. Now it's 330 grams, so the Steam Deck is about double the weight of my Elite controller, but it's got a full screen, it's got fans, it's got NVMe storage on it, like it's got a lot more stuff on it. So that just goes to further say how impressive the Steam Deck is, where they were able to get so much packed inside this thing and keep it weighing so little uh, comparatively is awesome. I mean. It makes it a lot more wieldy for a lot of people. It's a lot easier to hold up and play. Your know, arms don't get as tired. Um, I mean, the physical size is something that some people may have to get used to. For me, it's great because I have really large hands and the switch is actually really small for me. So I ended up having to get a third party case 
that kind of added a little bit onto the edges here to make it a little bit more comfortable for my hands because my hands are huge compared to this thing. Um, and yeah, like, I mean, I just think it's, it's weight really does uh, impact the ability to play it longer, but this is in a positive way because it really doesn't feel that heavy. I can hold this thing out, put my elbows on the table and play and my arms don't really get tired. And one final thing to show you is that 3D printed accessory I told you about. So this is the what I printed. Um, a, I got it off of printables um, and then 3D printed it myself on my CR10. And what it is is it's a cord wrap for your charger. Charger sits in there nice and then you're able to wrap your cord around without really putting too much stress on any of the uh, connections. You have some slots for SD cards. This actually has the slot for the SD card adapter. So you would slot your SD card in there and then you would slot this whole thing in there. And then if you wanted to, you could have, you know, an emulation SD, SD card. You can have like an SD card for a whole bunch of different things. And this just helps you kind of hold more SD cards and they go in sideways, not, not up and down or else they'll be too tall. Um, but yeah, overall this printed out really well. Um, it's awesome. You press on from the bottom and you can pull the charger out. Uh, you know, it's a good cord wrap and it fits very nicely in the bottom of, you can actually see where the controller or the, uh, adapter here has been putting a lot of pressure, but it just fits right in there like that. And it does have a hump, right? So it's not perfectly flat, but it works really, really well with the case and the case has no issues. And because the the actual adapter is flat, uh, this still sits really well, you know, it wiggles back and forth, but it's just a really easy way to carry your uh, adapter that came with the deck around with it, unless, you know, you go ahead and you buy some kind of third party charger. Um, but this one works perfectly well. I have a different one that I use with my dock um, and I'll go over that in the dock video. All right, so I've actually started cutting and editing this video and it is much longer than I expected. So I'm gonna cut it off right here. And next week we will go over how I felt after using it for two weeks. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you do wanna see any specific things about the Steam Deck, if you want me to do any specific topics or cover anything specific, please let me know down in the comment section below, as well as if you have any comments, questions, or feedback. Big thanks to my patrons, ThoughtSlime and Stepback. This thing wouldn't be possible without them, so I really very much appreciate them. And as always, thank you for watching this video. If you do wanna see any normal computer things, nothing handheld or mobile, you can go ahead and check out this playlist right here. And until next time, which is going to be Saturdays from now on, stay safe out there. I'll see you then.